Hi friends, it's Sasha. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do another moving slash apartment updates vlog because there is a lot going on. There's just like boxes and stuff everywhere. Uh, we got almost all of my furniture in here. All we have left to move is the twin size bed into the guest room and then we have to bring over my bureau. Um, one of my cubby walls, unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna be able to get it down the stairs at my parents' house. Um, so I have like this two by four one that I have in my office. Originally, I was gonna have the four by four one in here, but I really don't think we're gonna be able to get that down the stairs. So I guess my brother is going to inherit that. But we brought over my desk, which is super exciting. So I can start setting up my office and all of that stuff. I also have like my little wire rack over here. And then like this room just has all the boxes of stuff that has just been waiting for like furniture to come in here so I can actually start organizing and just putting stuff in its place. And then of course there's all the stuff over here. And there's still like a few pieces of furniture that I wanna get. Definitely want to get a little coffee table for over here, just something small. Um, I'll probably end up getting another little coffee table for over here. And then this shelf, this little, bookshelf thing I am going to move from here to right here and then I'll have my Nana's chair right next to it because that bookshelf is actually my Nana's as well. The lighting by this front window is superb. I'm really, why, why did I do that? But I'm really liking it. I think I'm going to have a quick, I keep looking in the viewfinder, sorry. I think I'm going to have a quick smoke sesh with you guys and then put some stuff away and then probably go and have dinner because I think it's already like 3.30 or something like that. Actually, it's 4.30, much later than I thought. Now that I'm not near the window, I just have the overhead light on, so it's just making everything look super shadowy. Like, how did I go from like a decent face to having literal designer bags under my eyes? If I go like this, it's not so bad. I'll just look like this. <laughs> um, I don't even remember what I was gonna say now. I remember, okay, shout out to whoever called my bathroom the giraffe room because that is now what my bathroom will be known as, the giraffe room. <laughs> All right, I actually have my recording light here, so I just broke that out because the lighting is, is not superb. Once I get some more lamps in here, I think it'll be a little better, but right now all I have is like the overhead lights. So it's a little bit harsh, a little bit shadowy. Um, you don't really notice it if you're not a YouTuber, but I definitely notice it right away. I swear, every time I live stream here, people are like, you look dead, you look tired, oh my God. And I'm just like, guys, first of all, dark circles are life. You know, it happens. And second of all, shadows are also a thing and they emphasize those dark circles but okay I have my little bowl packed of some thunderstruck I still have to edit my dispensary haul Ugh, I should have done that today but I've just been like we moved my desk over here and then I was going to ugh, I should have done that while my camera was charging I can't find my extra camera battery I was looking all over my room and like there's not that much stuff in my room anymore so I figured I would have found it pretty quickly but it must be in one of these boxes or something I don't know we'll find out but um, yeah, I should have edited a video. Instead, I cuddled with Abby for like a half hour while the battery charged. But cheers, I am smoking on Thunderstruck, which is a CBD strain. It's about 10% CBD, 5% THC. So it's a very, very mellow strain, which I prefer those kind of highs. Cheers. I will say it's already so nice just not having to worry about like opening up the window when I smoke flour and stuff like that, especially the past couple days. Oh my God. Last night it went down to like negative seven degrees Fahrenheit or something like that, which like it definitely gets cold in Rhode Island, but like we usually don't get like that, that kind of cold weather, but I don't think it's been above freezing in at least two weeks, I would say. But like next, but next weekend is gonna be 50, two days in a row. So that's super exciting. Hopefully my friend, Rachel, she's Rue Gets Lifted. She's gonna hopefully come and visit me and we can hang out in the apartment and then go out on like a hike maybe, or at least go um, out into like Providence and hit up Thayer Street or something. That'll be really fun. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna get back 
to my cleaning and organizing. I just wanted a quick hit with you guys. Okay. Bye. All right, I think I'm going to throw all of my new like hand towels, bath towels, and face cloths just into the washer because um, I feel like when you use them when they're brand new, they just like, you get little lints all over you, which is annoying. Kind of dark, but all my towels are in a little basket at the bottom of my little pantry. I was throwing like everything into the washer and then I realized it was gonna be like a little bit too large of a load. So then I just picked all the white stuff out and um, I figure I'll do that separately. But I'm waiting for my dad to text me back because when I like pulled the knob to start the washer, nothing happened. So I'm not sure if maybe he didn't turn the water on, but I don't wanna like fuck with anything, especially when it's so cold outside. I just wanna wait for him to text me back before I try turning any knobs or anything like that. So. We'll move on to the next task for now. Also, oh my gosh, wait, wait, I don't have a, sh I think I showed you guys this, the hutch. This, oh, there's my laundry room. That's like the unfinished part of the basement. So it's definitely like a little creepy, we will admit, but it's for the washer and dryer. I just have that open since it's so cold, not as much heat gets in there when the door is closed. And I'm just like super paranoid about uh, like pipes freezing. Um, I mean, it shouldn't be as bad now, but last night when it was like forecasted to get down or negative 10, definitely better safe than sorry. But this is probably what all my glasses, well, it's definitely what all my glass is gonna go on, which is really cool. All these boxes contain just like glass accessories, giveaway stuff. Oh, that's my shoe rack for the closet. Um, this is some more just like glass and stuff like that and then all my bongs are over here for now because my dad had to um, My dad had to screw something on like the edges and then he just like Nailed that back part to the bottom like darker wood part on the back of it. So yeah Oh, and then I'm probably gonna put these lights Somehow around there, but the closest outlet is right here So if I do that, I'll probably have to like tack the wire like right along the staircase that way No one trips on it. I don't know We'll figure it out. It just took me literally an hour to find this camera because for some reason I brought it into the guest room last night. I don't remember filming in the guest room, but I found it. I ended up getting a really bad migraine last night that literally like it's still lingering. It was really, really bad when I woke up this morning. I just had like excruciating pain, just like almost behind my eyebrows and then all along the back of my neck. So I've just been like kind of taking it easy and I was just laying in bed for the longest time. But um, I'm feeling a little bit better now. So I think I'm gonna get back to like unpacking and stuff like that. So let's do that. I should do my makeup too. Cause I have like yesterday's makeup all over me. But Brendan ended up coming over last night and he helped me put together this little shoe rack that I'm gonna put in my closet. So Maybe, actually, let me do my makeup first, and I'll bring that downstairs. Actually, let's smoke a CBD bowl first. Maybe that will kick, like, the lingering headache. It's so weird, too, because I mentioned it was behind my eyes, but it seems to be, like, the right side of my face. Like, it really hurts all over here, and then just, like, I don't know, kind of, like, over here. It's weird. Maybe it's a migraine from, like, sleeping. Well, no, that wouldn't make sense, though, because the headache started yesterday. I don't know. Let's just hope it goes away soon. <laughs> Love CBD. I feel like a new person. My white marble theme is slowly coming to life. I have this little piece thing. Sorry, the radio is really loud in the background. I probably should have turned that off. I'll turn it off after this clip. <laughs> this little pencil holder. And then this, and then there's a couple more things wrapped up that I can take out. Another marble thing. I forgot about this one. <laughs> currently trying to organize just like all of the office stuff I have. So these are like the most random piles ever. But we have like 
sticky notes and little like to-do list like things. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these, but they sell them at like Target. I have like four different themed ones. These are like notebooks and stuff. And then these ones over here have like video and just like more so like work stuff. Whereas these are a little more random and just like a random note sheet that has like important documents in it. Those are all little notebooks, loose leaf, folder dividers, that kind of stuff, bullet journal stuff, um, like cardstock kind of papers, just like stuff I doodle on and use for my bullet journals. This is more like memory kind of stuff, I would say, like an old journal. There's some like artwork in there from literally elementary school and then just like random little paintings and stuff. And then this is just a box of random like photography and little fun things like where are my little confetti poppers, <laughs> these old disposable cameras. Some These ones expired in 2008, so I don't think I can get these two developed, but this one I can. This one's just from this past summer. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm, <laughs> I wanted to eventually be organized, but to get to that point, I'm making like a huge mess, but I think it's gonna work. I'm gonna put this little wire rack over there, and I think I'm gonna put my printer on it, and then of course a couple other things. I don't think my record player will be staying in here. I kind of want that to go in that little alcove, alcove, Al alcove, yeah, that whatever in the living room. So that's probably gonna end up moving. Oh, look it, it's baby me and fourth grade me. Baby me and baby -er me. <laughs> Oh, and shout out to the viewer who brought this pink giraffe to me at the Seattle Hemp Fest. It's gonna be living in here in my pink room. Making some tea. It's probably like 12.30 now. It is super late. I think I'm gonna sleep here tonight alone. I was originally gonna wait until I could have Abby here or even just have Brendan sleep over, but Brendan actually has to bring his papa to the doctors tomorrow because he unfortunately has been battling just like cancer and a bunch of other issues right now. And I just, my sleeping habits are really, really bad right now. It's to the point where I'm like going to bed at three or four and waking up at like 11 or 12. So I figure if I'm sleeping in a new environment, maybe I'll be like more prone to wake up a little bit earlier. I don't know. Oh, I think my tea's done. But I'm making peppermint tea tea right now. I'm hoping that will kind of help me get sleepy and I'm also going to smoke a little bit. I might actually live stream. Maybe I'll share a hit with you guys first before I hop on live and um, yeah, then I'll get all snuggly in bed. Maybe I'll bring a bowl into bed with me because I can do that now because it's my place. But I was just watching Jimmy Fallon since I just have basic cable right now with my antenna. I'm getting Wi-Fi and cable on Wednesday. I'm pretty sure I told you guys, but I have a few like tiny, tiny little updates to the office. I started putting a couple more things up here, which is nice, super cute. And then, over at my desk, I put my 100K plaque up there for now. I think I'm actually gonna hang that on the wall somewhere, but I'm just not exactly sure where a good location would be. Maybe like somewhere over here on the left or even like in that little area or I mean even, I don't know. There's so many options, so many options. But yeah, I also put a couple of the little um, Polaroid things. Oh my God, Fruits. I just stepped on the corner of this and I don't know why, but I thought I was stepping on like Abby's paw, but Abby's not here. <laughs> but, and then I have that picture over there, me and Abby, and then me and my friend Jenny, Jenny Wake and Bake. Follow her YouTube. If you don't, we should be hanging out like next week or the week after. Um, oh, I put the selenite tower there. It's like kind of whited out, can't really see it. And then, I'm not sure if I showed you guys this, that, okay, this doll, it's kind of creepy if you just like look at it from there, but it was my great grandmother's. That's from like probably the 20s, I would say. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how old it is. And then this thing, Allie, my best friend, her dad gave that to me like two years ago around Christmas, which is really sweet. And there's lots of crystals that I'm gonna end up putting over here. So I thought it was fitting. And then I'm probably gonna add some more Polaroids to this little collage here, cause it is very outdated. I probably made most of this collage in like 2013. And then I've just added a couple things like my graduation picture and like, a little thing from my Hemper collab and whatnot. So definitely gonna add a few more pictures to this little collage. But I think that's all I'm gonna do for tonight. Oh, I also added that lamp right there also. Also, also, also. <laughs> and my floor is just my like organized chaos right now.
I need to get this thing out of here. I don't even know. I just used this to kind of transport my record player over here, but I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to use that for or if I'm even going to keep it. I don't know. We'll see. Got to get my printer set up tomorrow, hopefully. Actually, I mean, I probably won't set it up until I get my Wi-Fi. So maybe Wednesday or Thursday I'll do that. And anything else? I oh, there's a giraffe up here and it's made out of bottle caps. That's really cool. Actually, that tea is way too hot. I definitely have to let that cool down a little bit. I don't think I've cleaned up my sink since we were using it to wash like the paintbrushes and just all like the filth we were cleaning out when we were doing the deep cleaning here. So I'm probably gonna try to tackle that tomorrow. Maybe I'll make a little to-do list of like things I wanna do tomorrow. I don't know, there's so many things that I need to do that it's just like whatever I see, that's what I normally tend to start doing. You know what I mean? Um, I guess tomorrow I should probably stick to like unpacking and stuff like that. Ooh, tomorrow though, I need to get my TV up on the wall in my bedroom because tomorrow's Tuesday and Wednesday the cable's getting installed and I'm only getting boxes in the living room and in my bedroom so I need to make sure that TV is up before they get there. It's gonna be so hot. I don't even wanna, uh, no. I can like <laughs> feel the heat on the mug itself that I just, I know I'm gonna burn my tongue. I'm gonna have cold water for now because I'm so thirsty. Oh my goodness. I also, I also want to get one of those like big water jug things, you know what I mean? That you just buy the five gallon uh, refillable things. And that I'm probably going to put like right here in this area. And then I'll put Abby's litter box like next to it or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Everything is just kind of like testing it out and seeing how things do in those places and then I'll probably like switch some stuff around as I get more settled in here. Just, you know, adapt to survive. I have this really cool thing that my mom has been crocheting that's kind of new. So I have, she made me two different colors. Actually, let me get the other ones first. Ooh, maybe I'll take a shower before I go to bed. All right, so my mom crocheted these and it's like this certain kind of yarn and they're like scrubbies. One has a little hanging thing on it and then this one actually has this, which I really like. If we make them for the shop, I want her to do this design, but it's really exfoliating, which is nice. My legs get embarrassingly dry in the winter, like to the point where they look scaly. <laughs> so using something like this and making sure I'm hydrating after that, like, this uh, definitely works really, really well. We're gonna make these ones and then we're probably gonna make some with cotton yarn, which would be good for like your face and even like makeup removal, a reusable makeup removal thing. You can just, you know, hit it with, uh, hit it with, <laughs> you can just like put coconut oil on the cotton one and then remove your makeup um, and then just like throw it into the wash. So I don't know, we have lots of ideas. My mom and I have felt like super, super creative lately. Um, oh, I didn't show you the thing we made tonight. But the reason I grabbed these ones is because she made me these different colored ones, which I'm gonna use as dish, <laughs> which I'm gonna use as dish scrubbies. So I've got these ones for the dishes and then this one for my shower. I don't think I showed you guys the shower since it got the coating, did I? I may have, but I'll show you my shower just so you can kind of see the little setup I've got going on. So that just got like a brand new coating and then I just have this little thingy in here because there's not like a drain catch, um, just to like catch all the hair, you know what I mean? And then I have these two little things here, which so far so good. This one feels super sturdy. This one was a little tougher to get on, so hopefully it stays, but that only has the scrubbies in it. So it's not that big of a deal if it falls, but I've got all my stuff in there. Oh, and I got a new medicine cabinet today. It's all mirror and we're gonna start filling her up. But I really like that it's all mirror. And I really like doing my makeup in here because I can get super, super close to the mirror, which I really like doing, especially when I'm doing my eyeliner. And my little giraffe guy is holding a face cloth now. All right, quick bowl hit. Oh, here's my lighter. <laughs> and then I'm probably gonna live stream a little bit. Okay, I'll finish this vlog off in the morning, probably. I don't know if I've gotten a lot of footage or not. I think some of it was time-lapsing. I don't think I've been too, too chatty in this vlog besides, like, the past five minutes. So, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't end up being too long. But good night!
All right, I'm gonna head out to my P.O. Box, Michael's, and possibly Target. I have like a couple different things that I need to get. Um, obviously my P.O. Box, I have packages, I have a sponsored project that's coming up soon. Jenny and I will be getting together and working with Vapor Nation again, which is super exciting. Um, but I also need to get cream yarn, the little like chain link, but like the more wide one if that makes sense. It's like bigger loops and that's what you use for like the extension in the back. And then I also need to get like isopropyl alcohol, a couple trash cans for like my office, laundry room, stuff like that. And then just like little things for the apartment. And then I'll probably continue cleaning later on. Um, should I have a hit with you guys? Probably. Uh, smoking on some of that CBD strain that I picked up like three eighths of. And um, it's called Thunderstruck. It smells super piney, honestly. It just smells so earthy, it's crazy. Cheers! Ooh. That smoke though. Hold on, let's do one more hit like this. It's so pretty! Okay, my peel box had a couple things. The thing I was expected came in. I also got a little present from Ed White. Ooh, this is actually perfect for my desk. Ooh, this is fun. Oh, cute. Just a little Happy New Year kind of card. That's so sweet. And it's Snoopy. Love Snoopy. Thank you, Ed. All right, this is what Jenny and I are going to be making some content with probably next week. It is the incendio incendio by vivant so keep an eye out for some content involving this i'm gonna take a hit really quick because i still have this cbd bowl half packed over here all right so i ended up getting these two little dry erase boards i'm probably going to put them like this or something and then have my calendar dry erase board next to it or maybe like this with the calendar on top I don't know but they're white marble they go with the office theme and then I got just three super cheap little waste baskets one for the office one for the laundry room one for my bedroom and then some more hangers because I need even more of those um, I got a bunch of isopropyl alcohol for cleaning my glass. I got four of these. I ended up getting a new razor. I got some vegetable oil and just like a bunch of starter spices because I think I'm going to make myself quesadillas tonight. So I wanted to make some black beans with that. Ooh, I got this. I'm very excited to try this out. But you just blend up chickpeas and then add this little mixture to it. It's probably just like tahini sauce and a couple other things. Water, tahini, olive oil garlic salt lemon juice sugar and citric acid so yeah you just add this to some blended garbanzo beans or chickpeas and then you have your own hummus so I was like whatever I'll try it maybe I'll do it in a vlog I also I already ate one of these in the car but I love these little cheese almond and craisin mixtures um, then I got vegetable oil don't know if I said that just figured it'll come in handy for baking and stuff like that um, I grabbed a bag of brown rice cheddar cheese, tortillas, romaine lettuce, and craisins, and I think that's it, actually. Yeah, and then I got a peppermint mocha latte while I was there. Also, Target, if you're going to tempt us with Starbucks, at least put some cup holders in your carriages. Like, come on. I almost spilled my peppermint mocha latte on me like three times. It literally, as I was walking over, it did tip over. And luckily a little, like it only spelt on the ground, not like on me or anything, but still could have been worse. Guys, we brought Abby over. I'm just following her around as she explores the apartment for the first time. But her tail's wagging. She's definitely walking a little low to the ground and hobbling a little bit, but that's expected in a new environment. But we were just like sitting on my bed for a minute and I was petting her and she was purring. So I think she's doing all right so far. I'm so excited. Abby, it's our new home. 
I made sure I brought like her scratching post and there's some treats over here and toys and I already put her in her litter box once. I'm probably gonna place her in the litter box a couple times so she remembers where it is. And then I put my blankets from my parents' house on the couch so my scent is kinda on here. But she's just exploring, I'm so happy.